enough is enough. I'm 49 and I need your help. That's the reality of my situation at the moment. Now, I might be over-dramatizing it a little bit. I might be been a bit of a drama queen, but as past experience goes, I'm not going to do this alone. And let me explain. Just before I start, just a little bit of time out a moment. Because when I went through to just chop out the bits that I wasn't speaking, I realized I didn't say something very important. One of the things that stops me doing all these podcasts and all the other things is the fact that I think I need to make them perfect. I'm going to give up on that. You're going to get the rawest um, editing. You're going to get literally I'm going to chop out the bits where perhaps I make a mistake or there's blank bits. But I'm not going to play around with titles. I'm not going to play around with all those other things because that's what stops me publishing. So I'm just going to throw it up there. So it is going to be what it's going to be. So I'm Stephen. This is Stillness in the Storms podcast and I will allow it to continue. So, like I said, I'm 49 soon. I've been paralyzed now September the 1st for 31 years. You know, we've had lockdown. During lockdown, I was going to write my book. I was going to get fit. I was going to do all these things. For the last 31 years, I was going to write a book. I wrote it 10,000 times in my head. I wrote it on the computer, different chapters here and there. It's a mess. It's in Evernote. It's in OneNote. It's in all these different places. It needs to be brought together in some kind of... And I, I just feel like I'm getting nowhere fast. I'm doing the things that need to be done as opposed to the things I want to do. And I'm doing all the things that I don't want to do, ironically, but they're the things that give me the moment pleasure in that moment, like watching TV, like binge, um, watching on Netflix, doing all these different things like eating the wrong kind of chocolate bar, things like that. They all give me those little pick-me-ups in the moment, but they're not nourishing. They're not going to give me anything later on. And I'm constantly picking the the low level fruit in order to in in some way I think something's going to snap and something's going to really push me into getting on with my life, but you know, put my backside into gear. And I always remember saying, especially when I was a teenager or even older, even even probably recent years, you know, I'm best when my back's against the wall when I'm under pressure. Really, that was an excuse for saying, I'm not going to bother doing it until the deadline is almost here. Um, You you know? And, you know, I I always thought that was a trait. That was a wonderful, like, thing. But no, that's what I do. I I don't reply to emails until I have to reply. I've got a to-do list as long as my arm that I really need to get on and do. And I feel like I'm letting people down. They may not feel the same way, but... I, I, that's the way I feel. And you cannot argue with feelings. You know, if someone feels a certain way, don't argue with it because that's the way they feel. Even if it doesn't fit the facts, that's the way they feel. So I feel like I let people down. And But above all, I'm starting to realise at the age of 49, I'll be 50 to 78. And what have I done with my life? I know people will come back and say, well, you've done a lot and all that. Yeah, maybe. But unless I feel that, then it's not really that important. And you can do this with yourself now. You you know, are you really where you want to be? You might be doing well in other people's eyes. You might be doing all these other things. But is it where you really want to be? And and the reason why I say enough is enough, you know, you can have all the knowledge in the world, but unless you put it to use, What's the point in that knowledge? It reminds me of a quote by Mark Twain. A person who won't read has no advantage over one who can't read. So the person who won't read has no advantage over the person that cannot read. Think about that for a moment. Yeah. I've got a necklace around my head, the Memento Mori. And I I got it from... Ryan Holiday, that writes lots and lots of books. It's, I'm a huge fan of his. And he he, has, he does the Daily Stoic. I read the emails, and I think every day I'm going to make changes. And every day I go to bed, and I put up my tablet, and I put on Netflix, and I do a bit of reading, and I read those, and my head goes 
blah. Like it doesn't want to read anymore, it goes blank. Because I'm reading the wrong time of day. Really, I should be going to sleep. No, what do I do? I put suits on on Netflix. I try to kid myself, I'll do it tomorrow. I buy that item on Amazon because I think when I buy that item, that's the, that's the one item that I need in order to sort my life out. That's the one item I need to do my next podcast or something like that. Well, I bought thousands of items. I've, uh, you know, I'm a gadget freak. I buy and sell things. I upgrade. I, I, you get the point. You get the point. And I have a YouTube. I have a, a TikTok. I have. I have my chair. I have my arm for the chair. I, I have all the things that I've always wanted to do what I want to do, and yet I'm still not doing it. What am I waiting for? What I do wait until I die? You know, that necklace around my neck, memento mori. You know, it's it, it, it means in Latin, remember that you have to die. Boom. If that doesn't wake you up, if that doesn't wake me up, what is? I'm going to die. And when I broke my neck, what, 31 years ago this September, I didn't think I'd live 10 years. But the problem is the longer you live, the more confident you get that you'll live fine even when you hear of a friend dying or you hear somebody else you like you, you have that ah oh, crap i'm not in, i'm not immortal immortal mortal i got the words the wrong way around kind of different <laughs> it's my dyslexia um but yeah we kind of for a few days we're like oh my god i could die because really when someone else dies it freaks us out because it awakens us to our immortality. And that's the reality. That's why it freaks us out when someone dies. It's why we don't want to go to funerals. It's why we don't like those things. It reminds us that we're not going to live forever. But yet we're planning to live forever. I'll do all these things one day. What did Wayne Dyer say? Don't die with your music still in you. Don't die with the music still in you. Boom, how powerful is that? And I know that. I know all these things. You know, Stephen Covey says, start with your funeral. Start with your obituary. What do I want people to say about me? Well, at the moment, they would probably say, well, I was waiting for his book. It's a shame it didn't happen. And I think that's the one thing. I've had a wonderful opportunity of a guy called Robert on a chance meeting in town with somebody that's down here on holiday that seen my bling, the mayor of Truro chain. And they said, they, oh, I wonder what that is. And they looked it up on the internet. And by the time I got over there, I said, you're the mayor of Truro, you're Stephen Webb. And they seen me on the internet. And I don't know what they typed in. Mayor, a chain, Truro, mayor chain, I don't know. But they, it, they introduced me to a guy called Robert that works for crowdfunding and all that. And he sent me a brilliant email with loads and loads of details. I'm going to meet him on Zoom. But then I procrastinate and I pull away. What am I frightened of? I'm fr for years I've convinced myself that I'm frightened of letting people down. Well, I'm letting people down by not doing it. By not sharing my story, I'm already letting people down. Yeah. I'm worried about getting it slightly wrong. <laughs> you know, most books start off utter crap. They need editing and rewriting and editing and all that. And yet I'm trying to create a New York Times bestseller and I'm not even an author. So what's going on? What's going on? So I need your help. This is what this, this podcast is about. And I'm going to share this podcast wide. I'm going to share this on everywhere. I'm going to share this on my TikTok, um, my, my YouTube. I'm going to share it on my Stillness in the Storms podcast. Oh, by the way, you're listening to Stillness in the Storms podcast. I'm your host, Stephen Webb. <laughs> a little late, but that's the reality. Oh, come on. Now my computer's gone to sleep. Okay, now you're back. Thank you. Um, but I want your help. I need some accountability. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to make promise any big things. I'm not going to promise you I'm going to do this every day and all those things because I will fail. And I know you are what you tell yourself. I, I know all that. You know, I am, you, you know, I'm preaching to my own choir. But I know me. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this. Um, when I finish this podcast, I'm going to go and remove all the things off of my tablet and off of my phone that I don't need. I'm going to cancel Netflix tonight. Sorry, family. <laughs> Keep your own subscription. We're going to have to do it. But my life and my, my book and what I really want to do is more important than your Netflix <laughs> binge. So I, I'm going to do that. Um, I'm sure we can work out something, even if I help you out, but I need to get it off my devices. Um, by the end of this week, I think I'm even going to remove the TV out of my bedroom. I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm I, I'm going to make those changes. I'm going to make it so difficult for me not to read a book, not to take notes, that it'll become second nature and it'll become part of the habit. So when I go bed, I haven't got Netflix. So I'm paralyzed. I can't get out of bed. So if I haven't got it there, I can't go and get it. You know, if it, you know, I need my carer to go and get me the tablet. So if I don't have the tablet next to me on bed on the bed, if I take my Kindle, I've got two Kindles for Christ's sake. Why? I thought buying a new upgraded Kindle will make me read more. What the hell is all this about? Well, the, the human mind is amazing and crazy. It hasn't got, your mind hasn't got your best interest at heart. It's just got the easy road. It just wants to sit back and relax and let, it, let things happen. So, yeah, I'm going to cancel Netflix. I'm going to cancel my Disney. I don't know what other subscriptions I got. I'm not going to cancel Spotify for the minute because I need to take time out and listen to my music. I like that. Um, and also it's great for podcasts. My podcast is on it, Stillness in the Storms. And I'm going to commit. And my commitment to you, my, my commitment to myself, is I'm going to document at some point every day, even if it's just a one-minute video, on TikTok, I'm going to tell you what I did that day, whether it's read a chapter, whether it's um, go for a walk, or whether it's cancel, delete some of the things. I'm going to do something every day, moving towards my goal. And I want you to hold me accountable, and I don't know what that looks like, but give me some ideas. Let me know in the comments. Does any of this resonate with you? Do you struggle with any of this? Because you're going to die. I'm going to die. And do you have a message the world needs to hear? Have you done something awesome in your life? Have you been a good parent? Have you done all these things that the world needs to hear? Have you got some advice? Don't die with that advice in you. I just ask you, imagine the world a better place if all of that wisdom that died within people was here and alive today. It's, it it would really change things. So yeah, I enough is enough. I'm 49 and I'm 50 on December the 8th. And by December the 8th, I want to, I, I really, I'm going to enjoy reading books. I'm going to enjoy doing more videos. I'm going to enjoy putting myself out there in the world and helping you guys a little bit more. Um, but that's going to help me because that's what I really get nourishment from. Hold me accountable. If I say I'm going to email you, get hold of me and say, you haven't emailed me. You know, if I promise, make sure I deliver. Thank you. And I really do appreciate this. It, it really will make a difference. Um, I don't know how to sign off this podcast apart from go to stephenweb.uk. That's just stephenweb.uk. And you will have a link, a, a list of links as to where I'm going to document how this is going and what I'm doing on a daily basis. Thank you, and take care. Oh, don't forget, on those list of links, there's a, there's a podcast that's doing really well, and that's Inner Peace Meditations. That's my meditations. So take care. Thank you, and I love you, and let's do this. Let's do this. Make changes at arm's length. So important.